Hi everyone, Tech TV here. In for today's video, we have here an Epson EcoTank L5190 printer, having a 0310006 printer error or contact Epson support, none printing features are available, shows on its screen. This error appears due to defective logic board fuse, quasped by a shorted print head or head cable. To fix this issue, just follow me in these video. Please turn off your printer first. Then unplug the power cord and USB cable. Then also remove the line port cover. Then lift the panel controller and open the ink and front door cover. Then remove the scanner screw. Then lift the scanner assembly and detach its wires and flex cables. Then you can now remove the scanner assembly. Before we can remove the logic board, we need to detach first the flex cables and wires. And also remove its Wi-Fi module. Then, remove this metal frame to easily remove the logic board. Then now we can start removing the logic board screws. Then now remove the logic board. Then locate here the F301 or the logic board fuse and the F301 or fuse OS located under the Wi-Fi module connector. As we can see here, it is a F301 label and beside on it, it is the fuse. So now we have to test the fuse to check if it's really the problem. Then, set your multi-tester into resistance and buzzer mode. In buzzer mode, when we are going to short the test probe, it should have a beep sound or having a resistance. On testing a fuse, you are going to put the test probe on both ends of the fuse. And if your fuse is good, your tester should have a beeping sound. But in this case, the fuse is defective. So the next step is to remove the fuse and replace another one. Just clean the fuse terminal and prepare to replace a new fuse. Then now we have soldered the new replacement fuse. Then test the fuse to confirm that it really works. Then now fuse is good and working. Then now, we are going to install back into the unit. Install the Wi-Fi module. A 
attach the wires and flex cables. Then check the printer head cable and printer head, because shorted print head or shorted printer head cable can damage your fuse again. That's why, when you encounter 031006 error on your Epson printer, it might be shorted head cable or print head issue. Then now, remove all cartridge damper in order to check its print head. Just press the cartridge lock to remove. Then remove the cartridge slot by pressing its lock from both sides. Then pull up to remove from the carriage. Then remove the print head screws. Then pull up the print head to remove from the carriage. Then detach the head cable to check the terminal for ink splash. As we can see here, head cable terminal having ink splash, that's why 031006 error occurred. Using a piece of tissue, remove the ink splash and check for any damage. If you found any burn damage, it's time to replace your print head cable. So just remove the damaged print head cable to replace. Remove the lever sensor spring. Then unscrew the pickup arm holder to remove. Then remove the print head cable. Then use a heat gun to dry print head socket slot from ink splash. Then make sure that all the ink splashes is removed. Then I have here a new print head cable replacement. And just install the new replacement print head cable. Then install the cartridge damper. Then properly align the encoder cable and print head cable. Then slide to lock the print head cable holder. Then attach the flex cables to the logic board. Install the pickup arm holder. Attach the sensor wire connector. Attach the lever sensor spring. Then attach the pickup arm holder screw.
Install the scanner. Then attach the scanner wires and flex cables. Attach the side cover. Attach the scanner screw. Then plug the power cord and USB cable. Then turn on the printer. So now we have successfully removed the 031006 printer error. Then now we have tried to print a nozzle check. So go to settings, maintenance, then nozzle check, then press start button. And that's how simple it is to fix the 031006 printer error of this Epson EcoTank L5190 printer. If you found this video helpful to you, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to get more tutorial videos like one. Thank you for watching.